we're ready to rock. Hello there, DC Wood here at uh, Daneside Theatre. It's um, a really another lovely night here. And uh, it's, um, I'm joined, we're in the interval of uh, a soldier's goodbye at the moment, and I'm joined now by uh, the director of the play, uh, Annabelle Hull, chairman of uh, Congleton Players. Good and uh, of course, I'm uh, joined by the writer as well, uh, Dave McCannon, who won uh, the One Act Play Festival with uh, for the benefit of Albert Entwistle. So, <laughs> guys, thank you so much for, for, for taking the time during the interval to chat with us. Um, First question, obviously, uh, must have, must be, um, it's uh, 100 years, but it's the centenary since World War One broke out. Um, uh, is that what made you decide to come up um, with A Soldier's Goodbye for it was, tonight? It was an approach made 12 months ago yeah. um, by Margaret Williamson's World War One Awareness and Engagement Group. Mm -hmm. And I thought they wanted a book for Male Voice Choir. That was the, the initial approach. And then said, oh, we've got some drama, we've got some poetry. And I was just going on holiday, and then I sort of came up with a thought, I don't know, I think I'll know what I'll do, and I'll make it local, right? And, and that's where I came up with it. And Annabelle has directed one of my plays before, and did a superb job of it as well, actually. And made it win. Well, he didn't make it win. <laughs> <laughs> but it won. And we won. We won, yeah. yeah. And I approached Annabelle and said, would you be interested in doing this? Because it would be no good without Congleton players and the, and the other mm -hmm. uh, uh, community people as well. And I'm going to read a bit, and uh, what did you think? The rest is history. Yeah, I, I couldn't good. refuse it. It's been, that, it's been wonderful working on it. Uh, we've had a lot of fun. We've had a lot of tears, haven't we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even in rehearsal. We, yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. it's very emotional. Well, well, it certainly sounds it. I mean, mm. not just from the uh, the quality of the uh, performances from the acting, uh, like uh, Michael Clues and David Potts. Got some or, wonderful actors. Yes, yeah, so definitely. And, of course, um, the, the choir we just heard just now. That was absolutely so was, yeah. wonderful and emotional, and Dave's the chairman. I know. <laughs> it's, it's just, it's just fantastic. Just another half that. <laughs> yeah. So, a bit of male voice choir, and they were all absolutely fantastic yes, yeah. tonight. Yeah. Really wonderful. Sure. Yeah. And of course, it's not just the choir you've had uh, had in all members of Compton plays. You've also had uh, poet laureates as well, like John Lindley. He Correct. was. He did. Um, uh, was it Friday's uh, last night's? Um, and and the matinee today. And today. Yeah. And he couldn't be here tonight, unfortunately, yeah. to read his own poem. Mm -hmm. But he has read it twice. Yeah. Okay. So. Uh, Obviously, and of course, Compton Children's Choir, yeah. mustn't forget them. This afternoon, they sang fantastically, oh, part of the Choral right. Society. Mm. Um, and, they, and that was a wonderful children's part of the thing. Yeah. Educational as well, so they, were, they actually learned from it, I'm sure. But the other thing is that the standard does is that John Lilly, when he did some workshops, mm -hmm. and some of the poems that the children wrote were just amazing. Yeah. Uh, which is going to be published in an, um, in an anthology, I think. In, uh, oh, in brilliant. Yeah. So when we read them, mm -hmm. I yeah. said to Dave, we mm -hmm. must get some of these children to read the poems mm -hmm. for the, the, the matinee today, because oh, the Bidolf yeah. Choir couldn't make it for the matinee and tonight. Yeah. <laughs> so we had 12 children yeah. reading their own World War One mm -hmm. poems. Fantastic. And it was amazing, Fantastic. wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. Absolutely amazing. Yeah. Superb. Yeah, lovely. Uh, absolutely brilliant. And thanks so much for, for telling us all about uh, the, um, the play tonight and uh, one last question to wrap things up guys what is the most important thing about um, World War One would you say that we must never ever forget well that that, that, that sums it up mm -hmm. I mean this is why uh, one of the reasons that we're doing it we must never forget mm -hmm. which is said in the play over and over again mm -hmm. but also to awaken the awareness in young people who mm -hmm are very quick to play these awful war games on their Xboxes, but they have no concept, really, mm. of what the First World War was like, did they, Dan? No, that's absolutely right. Yeah. And it's, um, as I say, it's educated the younger ones. We've, like today, the theatre was packed with, with younger children, and I think they've gone, uh, gone home, and they... No, they a lot more. That's the next generation, you know, another generation yeah. again. So, yeah, yeah, that's right. They went home knowing a lot more than they, they knew when they came in, I'm quite yeah. sure. Yeah. 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 Uh, another really good positive to, to have come out of uh, this weekend, which is uh, uh, excellent and uh, really no more appropriate time, really, given that it's the 100th exactly. anniversary of exactly. so, uh, Annabelle, David, thank you both so very, very much for tonight. And uh, this is DC Wood signing out for Box of Stuff. The second half is um, still to come of A Soldier's Goodbye. And of course, I'll be uh, reviewing the show later on. So uh, stay tuned for that and um, take care, everyone.